I would love to bring in our special guest, which is his name is Brian Rector, and he's the president and owner of the Shaver Outlet. And again, uh, are you there with us, Brian? Yes. Hi, Alex. Thanks for having me. Great, Brian. Uh, as you heard there, I got a little bit, you know, talking about our savings club, and 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 I guess that's that's what was created to help people save money on all their health care needs to different services or benefits. We we try to hook, you know, we try to connect more to the health care and other products that are out there. And and I I know of, of your company. Going back, you know, many years, I've I've ordered products from you, and and here's something that everyone needs: sh- shaving products, right? Grooming. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, we uh, we carry a, a large selection of uh, shaving products: electric shavers, uh, hair clippers. Uh, we also carry some pet grooming items, mm-hmm. and as well as replacement parts. Mm-hmm. Wow. We, uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we carry a lot of brands that you've heard of, like uh, Norelco, Braun, Remington, Wall, Panasonic, Oster, and Conair are just a few of them. Um, and we also still do some repairs uh, for those products, and that's really where we got our roots was in the repair business for these type of products going back to uh, 1997. Well, 1997, that's like seven, 17 years already. Yeah, yeah, it's getting up there a little bit. Wow. So you, you said that that's how you started with your company, uh, going out there and repairing this equipment, which technically, you know, it breaks down. They're expensive. So if you can, you, you can get it sent over to you guys and you guys will be able to repair. Because, I mean, that's how I found out about you guys. You know, right. I, my shaver, my bronze shaver, and that's something that we use every day. And those things are very expensive. And it, I think it was just a replacement of a battery. Right. We do a lot of battery replacement. Uh, Most of these products require a a little bit of a special type of battery that requires a little bit of expertise to install. It's not like putting a battery in a flashlight. And uh, it's not not real expensive to do that or anything, but it's... um, it's it's something that you know most people aren't able to do themselves. So uh, the batteries are a big part of a repair business, and and just replacing the blades and things like that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you know we we install them when people purchase them for free uh, on a local level anyway. Uh, of course we can't do that uh, through the internet, but um, uh, yeah the, the, the repairs are, are were the foundation uh, that's where we started and uh, we still do that today although since we've uh, become very uh, a big player on the internet uh, you know most most of our, our sales now go directly to customers and we, we ship them directly to their home or business now saying that um, and, and again by the way going back from your roots that's how I found out because I, I have my 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 shaver and for whatever reason it, it died out on me and it was less than six months and 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 the whole thing was buying a new one and I'm a little mechanically inclined so I figured you know, I like to take things apart and put them back together but at that point I looked at it and I said well if I'm going to take this thing apart I'm going to be able to put it back together and that's how I found out about you guys and I, I shipped over the product to you and within a week or so I got it back and it was really you know, it was just a change of a battery, and I thought that was great. So I've, I've been talking about you guys. I've been letting all my friends and neighbors and people I know about your products and all, and, and that was just a natural to add to to here to our savings club because people can uh, – I'm looking at it. This is a, a product, you know, that you use on a daily basis. That's right. That's right. And um, with these repairs, and uh, specifically, there's there's not a lot of places that do that kind of stuff anymore. It seems like so many of them uh, have have disappeared over the years. So um, you know, we we do fill a void there. Mm-hmm. And um, and the other thing too, just just in the parts, especially that we sell, and and even the finished goods like the electric razors and the hair clippers and whatnot. On a local level, if you go to one of your big box stores. Um, they, they carry just a very small percentage of what's available on the market. If you want to buy an electric razor, if you go to you know one of these big stores, they're, they're just going to carry a few different products where there's literally uh, over 100 different models of, of electric razors that we sell by these different brands. 
Um, and then when it gets into the parts, uh, if you need a new uh, blades or something like that for it, uh, most of the times you're, you're going to have even more trouble at your local retailer. Mm-hmm. They just don't have much of any selection. And if you've had your electric razor for a year or two or more, uh, finding those parts there is, is usually impossible. They're just not going to be able to help you. There's just so many, so many different models that they've made over the years uh, that these stores, they, even as big as they are, they just can't uh, offer all those different products. So um, we, we have a, a, a tremendous selection, which uh, really helps us to meet the needs of our customers. And in saying that, and you're absolutely right, I, I guess they, 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 they keep changing these models every year, it seems like. And, and, I, and I think they do that purposely, so then this way you're not able to fix them and you get a new one. So, but then you, you you pay a lot of money for these products, and and I know they they last a lot longer if you're able to you know keep them in tune and 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 get the products. But talking about all this though, Brian, um, what kind of savings? You know, is, is it is it is it a pretty good saving that people yeah, will get? We, we we're able to offer our customers uh, pretty significant uh, savings over the suggested retail prices. Uh, there's really two categories that we we put break it down. We have what we call finished goods, which would be an electric razor or a hair clipper or something like that. That's the the full product, and uh, those those types of items we're usually anywhere between twenty five uh, ten excuse me ten to twenty five percent off of uh, manufacturers suggested retail. And then when you get into some of the other items, like some of the parts, you know, you need replacement blades or you lose your cord or something like that, we're usually anywhere between 10 and 50% off on those products. Um, of course, the, you know, the finished goods are a much more competitive area, so we're not able to, you know, discount those quite as, uh, mm-hmm. as big as the other items. But uh, on the full, the full line, we're able to offer a pretty significant savings, yes. Because I remember my bronze, uh, I, I look at the pricing for the the blades, and I guess the little cover, the little uh, uh, the, the foil, the foil, correct. Uh-huh. And and after a while, uh, again, as 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 myself and many probably listeners on on the call, how often should a person really change those foils and and those blades? Is that is there like a suggested time period? Well, yes, the, most uh, manufacturers suggest doing that about once a year. You mm-hmm. do have a couple manufacturers that suggest a little more frequently than that. Uh, that would be uh, Remington and Wall. They suggest as often as six months. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have a brand called Panasonic, which uh, they usually suggest that you might be able to get as much as two years out of theirs. But the, rather, the other brands, Naralco, Braun, and the other main brands, suggest a yearly basis and that's usually a pretty good recommendation because they do wear out they do get dull they also do um they'll wear through they'll actually wear out physically wear out so it's a good idea to go ahead and change them before they you know get to the point you just can't use them anymore i mean that that's exactly what happened to me when i got the product i thought it was great with a bronze shaver instead of shaving every single day just you know, we don't have time, and these shavers work great. And, and I was using it, and I was using it, I guess, for a while. It might have been over a year, year and a half, whatever. And as I was shaving, I was noticing I was, noticing I was getting, like, like red areas. And then later on, um, I went up getting nicks and cuts on my, on my face. <laughs> and, and I'm saying, uh, and I didn't, I didn't realize that it was the shaver, that foil, has worn out. Right. I didn't right. realize. And and maybe people in the audience and men, uh, if you use this and maybe you had the same experience as I did, I was cutting up my face. <laughs> and and I didn't even realize it until I ran my finger over the foil and I saw the like the you know, the, the it grabbed onto you, like it cut into you. And I'm saying, yes. Oh, I I didn't think it was that foil was that thin. But apparently it is. That is correct. It's got to be real thin in order to give you a close shave. And um, that material, over time, it's kind of like a tire on a car. You know, it's just just that wear will eventually start to wear it through if you leave it on there long enough. And that's what happened in your case. It just started to wear through just a little bit. 
Uh, at first, you, it kind of gave you a little bit of irritation, and then mm. as it got a little worse, it, it gave you a little more irritation. Um, and that's certainly an obvious sign that you need to change it. Uh, the manufacturers, like I say, based on their recommendations, you would normally be able to change it and not have to experience that. You can go seamlessly and you know change that part and, and, mm. and be able to use it continuously without having any problems. And that's really the best way to do it. Yeah, but again, you know, we, I mean, how, how many times do we read <laughs> the fine print or warranty? Sure. <laughs> we just use it, and I just assume that this thing will last for a long time, and and not until, like you said exactly, I was getting the irritation, and then I was getting, you know, my face cut up be, <laughs> because of the foil started breaking up, and I, I didn't, you know, I didn't uh, acknowledge that until... I, until I ran my finger over and I saw that it was cutting my finger up. And I'm saying, wow, I need to replace this. And that's also how I used you guys. And I called up and I got, I guess I got like a three of them to just make sure. And I think, yeah, my thing, it's like probably every nine months or, or one year. Because it, it does, once it's brand new and clean, it does give you, you know, a much closer shave and all the, the way it should be. Right, yeah. much more comfortable too. And you're right about the, uh, the you know, reading the print. Yeah, so many of us, including myself, we don't really read read the instructions very thoroughly when we buy a product. We kind of like to jump in and start using it. Uh, one of the things that we have on our website uh, is a uh, newsletter. We can sign up for a newsletter, and we don't bombard people with information mm-hmm. or, uh, in you know, discount. Uh, information, all that kind of stuff, you know, that you end up putting in your spam box. But we do send out periodic uh, newsletters with things like that, reminders about how often you might should change that part. And, uh, you know, you can look at that and say, you know, hey, am I due? And and we'll usually throw in a little bit of a discount code promotion at that time as well. Mm -hmm. And um, it it helps people kind of keep up with that a little better. That's great, Brian. And talking about the discount codes and talking about the website, everyone, you can go to the NDCSavingsClub.com and go there for the men's section or the women's section, and you can actually see, among other programs, this one, this great company that you'd be able to save money on your shaving needs. But if people want to go directly, they can also go to the ShaversOutlet.com, Correct. That's correct. It's it's Shaver Outlet. It's the Shavers is it's not plural. Shaver okay. Outlet. Mm-hmm. ShaverOutlet dot com. So again, it's Shaver S H A V E R Outlet dot com, and you can actually go in it. And talking about promotional codes, do you guys have something maybe for the uh, members that they maybe yes. they might be able to tell you guys, and we'll put that up on the website for some sort of savings or something for our members. Yes, we we do. We've put together a promotion specifically for the NDC audience. Um, we have a discount code that they can enter if they choose to make a purchase, and mm-hmm. it'll save them ten. Or excuse me, fifteen percent off of their entire order. And it's just simply NDC as the mm-hmm. uh, discount code. And it's real simple to enter that on the shopping cart page of the website. Enter that, hit the apply button, and it will take 15% off of your uh, order. And that's off of the already discounted prices. Well, I mean, that's, I really appreciate it. And I thank, you know, I thank yourself and you know, for all giving us these great discounts on great products already. So, again, everyone, as you're listening in and and please tell your friends or family, here's a way that you'll be able to save 10, 15 percent, 20 percent off on your all your grooming needs. So again, everyone, please take advantage of this. Um, we're, we're, we use this on a daily basis. So then this way, you know, here's, here's another way to help you save money. At this point, uh, Brian, um, I'm looking at here, I'm, I'm getting some emails because we, we do promote it out there on Facebook and we get it out there on social media and we let people know about the upcoming shows. And I have some emails here already from people. Mm-hmm. I, I have here an email from John from New York City. Okay. He, goes, uh, he goes here, he wants to fix his shaver. <laughs> he wants to fix you know, his shaver and how, how much would it cost him? Well, 
It, that depends. It yeah. depends on the brand. It depends on the model. There's a lot of different factors because there's there's so many different kinds. Mm-hmm. Um, the best thing that I could tell him would be to uh, go to our website and mm-hmm. and contact us through the contact tab and send us an email. And if he could give us the a little more specific excuse me specific information like the brand and if possible the model number. Mm-hmm. And if he's not able to come up with that information, we we can help him figure out. Uh, that information. It's kind of like when you go to a repair shop and get your car fixed. There is no one price fits all. You know, it, de- it depends mm-hmm. what you have, and it depends what uh, what you need. So mm-hmm. um, we 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 can certainly help him uh, determine if that's something that he would like to do. Give him a, a, a price and uh, and all that. But he'll need to contact us. Uh, our direct email, if it's okay for me to give that yeah. out is info, I-N-F-O, at shaveroutlet.com. Great. So, John, again, like fixing your car, we don't know what make it is. If it's a Toyota, a Ford, or Chevy, <laughs> you got to right. figure it out. And I, I, I'm i assuming, like you mentioned before, that you you have all kinds of different, even I, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm interested in this, Brian. You guys also have probably for older models because now there's probably just a bunch of new models in the market, and you might have a completely fine working older model that probably works better than the new ones. <laughs> that's right. And when it comes to the replacement parts, that's that's what we probably sell the most of are mm-hmm. some of the old models that they made for years and years and years that really were made well and hold up really well. And... Um, So we have parts going back to 30 years in some cases. Some of the old Braun models and Remington models made uh, 30 years ago. We still have some parts for some of those, but usually the the replacement blades and Mm. and that type of thing. So, uh, yes, you know, that is a big part of it as well. You know, again, like I said earlier, if you go to your local store, they may have a couple little things there for you, but they're not going to have anything for you going back 5, 10, 15, 20 years or more. Mm. So that is a big a big part of our business because we really cater to uh, helping people figure out what they need and uh, helping them get it. I mean, that's an interesting, um, I guess, situation. It seems like to me that that's that's why I send my bronze. It's an old one. It's it's at least I would say it's still running at least seven years old, or whatever. And maybe that's you know not that old, but it seems like the new ones. Everything now that's being made new doesn't seem like it lasts much long. Well, that that's pretty much true as well. It seems like the quality has certainly gone down over the years. Uh, I wouldn't say that the stuff they make now is bad, not mm-hmm. not at all, but. At the same time, I wouldn't say it's made, uh, as a generalization, it's, they're not made as well as they used to be. Mm-hmm. And uh, so a lot of people uh, hang on to their older stuff because it's good. A lot of times it's because they're just used to it. You know, mm-hmm. we, especially men, and especially as we get older, you find something you like, you don't yeah. really want to go and, and take a shot in the dark to, to find something else to replace it. You like what you like, and you stick with it. Well, saying that, Brian, I, I saw here on the website that you have refurbished products. Can yeah, maybe, you sell some. Can, can you comment on that? I mean, maybe that, that's people maybe don't know what that is. I wasn't aware of that until, I guess, from other companies and this one. What does that mean, refurbished products? Well, they're factory refurbished. They're not uh-huh. products that we uh-huh. refurbish ourselves. Um, mm-hmm. We we handle a fair amount of the Remington brand in factory refurbished and uh, a little bit in a couple of other brands, but there's a lot of reasons something might be labeled as factory refurbished. It could simply be that a product was discontinued by the manufacturer, and they had a lot of leftovers still. And mm-hmm. uh, sometimes they'll just simply put them in a refurbished box. It's the same new product as any others, and uh, discount it uh, to us, and we're able to pass on a savings to the customer. Um, it could be that um, you know, if you go into one of these big box stores at Christmas specifically, they'll just have electric razors and that type of product stacked up all over the place because they're so it's such a popular gift item. And after Christmas, those items are usually sent back to the manufacturer for credit. And uh, though, again, those things are often just taken from one box and put in another, 
and then uh, flushed out through the system at a, a discount price. Now, on the other end of that, uh, some of them may be things that it were used once or twice. Maybe someone got it as a gift, didn't care for it or whatever, opened the box or never used it, and those go back, and if they are uh, found to be in good working order, uh, they will sanitize them and then uh, you know make sure everything is to the same new specifications as it originally was, and then also send those out as a factory refurbished product. So there's really no way to know exactly what any particular one what the story is behind it. But those are a few reasons why something might be labeled in that way. And saying that, what kind of savings can those products bring to a consumer? Well, those products right off the top are usually uh, 50% less than the new product. Um, and then, of course, we have our own discount uh, on top of that. So, um, you know, if you're talking about off of uh, suggested retail for a new product versus one of these refurbished, it could be as much as 60 or 70 percent off uh, from the, uh, you know, the regular product that you might pick up in a local store. And nowadays, I like to say like every dollar and penny counts now. So, again, you know, you have great products. And do you, do you have like like older equipment. I mean, I like older equipment. <laughs> it seems like it lasts. Do you guys have able to provide that to people? Because some of the newer ones, I don't know. I don't trust. <laughs> you mean, are we able to provide uh, like a, a finished, a, a full shaver or a hair clipper that, that goes back a ways? Is that what you mean? That yeah, was who, made, made yeah. manufactured a while ago? Yeah, if you might might have like just curious to see if there's you know older products and stuff that people might remember when they were younger and it says you know do you have this product because I remember using this and uh, I want to reminisce <laughs> having this product and I feel good as a comfort <laughs> well, a comfort uh, product. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, not a lot. Okay. Most of these type of things we go back a few years. Okay, but. After a certain period of time, they're just, you know, it's in the consumer's hands, and we just, we just don't get them anymore. Mm -hmm. A lot of that old stuff I wish so much that we could get because some of the most popular products that were made in this category, this type of merchandise, were made 10 to 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people who would just absolutely love to find some of those products today, but unfortunately they're very, very hard to come by. Wow. Well, let, let's say even if I do find it, and I just feel better with it. I feel comfortable. It reminds me of my past and all. Could, could I call you guys up and send it over to you guys? Can we re, redo it like a car, you know, rebuild it? Sure, sure, absolutely. And we, we uh, have a lot of people who will uh, send them in for a nostalgia type of reason. Usually it has something to do maybe a father owned an electric razor for years and then uh, when he passed away, his son might have taken it or something like that. Mm -hmm. And we can put it, in most cases, we can put them back in a nearly new condition and so it can be used for many years to come. Um, and then, uh, excuse me, one second. <coughs> I'm sorry, I had to cough there. Um, so, yeah, we, we do a lot of that for nostalgia reasons as well. Wow, that, that's it's nice to have a resource that people can have the memories and refurbish and use products that they remember from the past. Um, I'm looking at here at the emails. I got here an email, I guess, uh, from Astrid from Maryland. It says, uh, do you guys sell women products? I guess we keep talking about men. I guess she's asking. Yes, we do. We do. There, that. There's not as much available for the women in, in uh -huh. this type of stuff for electric razors and things, but we do. Uh -huh. There's a couple, couple main brands that sell uh, several models, and, yes, we have those as well. We pretty much have any make and model that's, uh, you know, a name brand uh, available through our website. Um, that includes men's and women's, yes. Oh, great. And I guess I have your uh, last email from Laura from New Jersey, she's asking, uh, do you have, like, pet accessory products for, for grooming? And, and, and I'm assuming because of grooming for pets, um, we might have professionals on our call as well that have, I uh, guess, grooming for, for the dogs and all that. I guess these products wear out a lot, and they're, they're always using this product, these products. Right, that's right. We And we do. We sell... Um 
a lot of grooming, pet grooming products. We sell both home products and professional products. Now, we, we only have a couple of brands really in this area because this is something we've gotten into in just in the last few years, and it hasn't um, been something we've been able to get fully on board with. There's, there's a lot of different products available there. But mm-hmm. uh, the, the home products, they're just uh, they're a little less expensive and uh, maybe not quite the quality as the professional products, but we do sell the professional products as well. We have quite a few groomers that uh, we have sold to over the years, and we have some accounts that buy to, from us on a regular basis. Um, and then, of course, the, the blades and things like that, of course, for those as well. Mm-hmm. We even carry some brushes and, and other grooming uh, pet washing system and things like that, uh, for home or professional use. Wow! So you, you're, I, I guess, Laura from New Jersey. Her email, I guess, she's probably a groomer. <laughs> yes, it could be. There's, there's a lot of them out there, and you know, these days, uh, pets, uh, dogs specifically, mm-hmm. uh, people really, really are fond of their dogs, and a lot more people have dogs today, I believe, than mm-hmm. than. In, you know, many years ago, and they're getting them groomed, and, and a lot of them are grooming them themselves as well. And uh, there's a real high demand for those types of items. Yeah, I would agree, and I guess it's only going to get more and more as, as years and and things are getting tougher, and all people and it's going back to our our, our pets or our, our friends. So uh, right. I was looking at here at the website, and again, you can go to the NDCSavingsClub.com, go to the website or to ShaverOutlet.com, either the sites, and I see you have everything here, like for mustaches and trimmers and nose and hair and, and all these things that men, uh, I don't know, but it's me, I'm getting older now, and I guess when you get older, hair starts growing out that you don't know where it's coming from <laughs> and, and not really on top of your head. Underneath your nose and stuff, so you got to take care of this. And again, you, you know, you got to be professional. You got to look right to society, you know, which rightly so. And you're able to provide all this. At, and the most important part is at, at a great discount for people. Right. And and you you mentioned some of these other types of items for nose hair and things. And basically, if if it's for shaving or or cutting hair. We we probably have it. You know that includes beard trimmers. Uh, they have different type of facial hair trimmers. They even have trimmers for a man's back, and different things like that. And we have all those different types of um, grooming products. Well, Brian, I mean, again, this is what our, our savings club is about to give people a resource, some way they can go and look at things to save money. And this is exactly what this is. That's the whole concept of the Savings Club, to have great companies. You guys have been around for 17 years now, and you've been doing this. So, uh, again, I'm a user of it, and I this is what I do. I, I try to promote programs and companies or services and to help them, you know, people save money. And these are everyday kind of products that we use on a regular basis. So at this point then, uh, Brian, I really appreciate your time coming into our show. And, and, and thank you. And thank you also for the, for the great savings, everyone. You can put the code NDC, again, like uh, National Drug Card or NDC, and you can put, down, uh, put that as a code and get a 15% off. Uh, I guess how long would this last for a while or... Well, we'll probably keep it up for at least six months. Make oh, sure wow. that everybody has a, an opportunity to use it if they choose. Okay, great, Brian. I really appreciate your time and your company, and thank you so much for all your help. Well, thanks for having me. We do appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Brian. Bye-bye.